shot? You showing your crawling skills? Yeah? Come on, go up. Up. Good boy. Go on, up. That's your home. Go on. High five. Hey, hey, high five. Good job. Yeah, they don't let you bring oranges from Canada to the States, but the oranges are from Florida. <laughs> so I don't get it. We have to eat them before we get there. We just passed the border, easy breezy, and now we are less than two hours away from our destination. I love road trips that don't last a million hours. <laughs> If you've been watching us for a while, you know that we do a lot of road tripping. We live in a vintage Airstream, so even just in the last year alone, we've traveled across Canada three times. We really wanted to give our truck a break. Our truck has racked up like 50,000 kilometers in like the past 12 months. So we partnered up with Enterprise, who's sponsoring this video, and we rented a car from them, decided to take a last minute weekend trip, and now we're here in a yurt. I'm sure you guys want to go on a little tour of this yurt, so we should take you on a tour. Let's do it. Let me extend these legs. This is a King Plus bed, and it is so comfortable. It's Crap. amazing. I'm not going to be able to get up now. Seriously. I, I love, like, sprawling out and not touching someone if you don't want to touch them. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> and it's room. there's room for a puppy. <laughs> Apparently you can build these things in, like, a day. And you can take them down and pack them away. Yeah, yeah. They, like, they could fit in, like, a van or a truck. Is the washroom. There's a shower here. I should use this setup while Kristen is showering. Thank no! Perps! And the toilet. The toilet is behind me. Here's the front door. So there's one entrance. Going through the front door so you guys can see the outside. And this is it. This is the yurt. Hopefully everything is in frame. And there's more. There's a bunch of yurts. So you can bring the whole family here. You can bring friends here and everyone gets their own yurt. to stay here to a tent a big one a uh, safari tent yeah we're going glamping we're going glamping my friend what are we doing today um <laughs> i like the vampire voice <laughs> we are we left the yurt and we're going glamping we've 
never gone glamping before. So we're staying in a really cool like big tent and there's a bed in there, there's tables um, and it's at this really cool campground that I found online. Apparently at this place you can do things like forging, there's campfires, there's like a community aspect to it. It's kind of like a hostel mixed with a campground. It's got a hostlamping ground, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people who work a lot or have other obligations, like families, feel like they don't have time to travel, but there are, there are even the weekends. It took you less than an hour to find this yurt yeah. and safari tent. Two things we've never done before. Really unique accommodations. Right. It and was, like, it took you no, no time to plan. No, it was super simple. I just looked at, you know, what would I want to do if I traveled to this far off place? Even though it wasn't far, I imagined it was and I'd want to do things that I've never done before and I just looked it up and they happened to be like in this area. We left it on Friday at like 5 p.m. when most people get off work and we got here by 9, had dinner already and we were in our new destination and right. on a new adventure. It costs like 30 bucks in gas, like it was so cheap to get here. It's you your little rain gear. You ready for hiking? We have arrived at Firelight and so far it looks beautiful. We're just walking into the woods to our cabin right now. It kind of sucked that it rained earlier, but now everything is so lush. So and the green. air is so fresh, like. And sweet. You can smell yeah. the lilacs. There's lilacs everywhere. So cool. Atlas, you excited, buddy? <laughs> it's like he knows where he's going. Nope, wrong tent. This is our home for the night. So cool! It's huge! Welcome home! Wow! Oh my god, it's so cute! We get our own beds! Wow! <laughs> Beautiful! This is so nice! <laughs> Atlas just walked into the screen! <laughs> Look at this little workstation! Adorable! So this was $169 US a night, plus we had to pay 25 bucks for a dog. And then I, I think it came to like just over 200. And uh, it's, it's super amazing. Like this is about how much a hotel costs, but what an experience. We have a little private balcony. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, the rocking chairs, too. Nice. This is such a perfect place to retreat, recharge, just absolutely relax. I just want to read a book. That's it. And stare out at the woods, listen to the birds, smell the sweet air, be with the people I love. Oh, oh, so good. Oh, my gosh. I've been craving this. And it was so close, too. Main test. Yeah. How oh. is the bed? Okay, I gotta take off my shoes for this. Whoop. If you guys don't know, Kristen is like Princess and the Pea. If there is a grain of salt on that bed, she will know and she will not be able to sleep. I think if I wasn't a travel YouTuber blogger, I would be a mattress trier. A mattress expert? Yeah, yeah. that'd be me. Yeah. Got some bounce and not too much bounce. Pillows are eh. Oh, but there's some softer ones. That's better. It's not hard. It's not soft. It's not exactly like in the middle where I usually like it, but it'll do. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Sure, the baby felt that. Oh, probably. Oh, it's used to it by now. <sighs> All right, I'm good for a nap. This is nice. Oh, you got it. You can do it. It's not that high. Come on. Yeah, good boy. It's a cool.
this is a map of where we are so this is Lake Ontario so Toronto is like right about here and then we cross the border drove down and there's actually 11 finger lakes so like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yesterday we were around here on Seneca Lake this is where the yurt is around this area and we drove here today to Ithaca and this is where our tents are right now Come on, let me hear you say it's That is so good. <laughs> mm. Hey, this is our setup for the night. I'm recording this on my phone because the camera is safe in the car. Hi. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel cozy. How do you feel, buddy? You nice and warm? Yeah, we're good. It's so, like, it's just so cozy. It's cozy. We don't even have a heater in here, but it's warm. We have lots of blankets. This is what glamping is all about. It's about hearing the outdoors because you can hear the crickets and uh, just like being outdoors in the forest, but the comfort of kind of like a, a hotel. It's really nice. Yeah, this is not your average camping tent. No. So much better. Like we got like full queen beds and blankets and we can like stand up like it's it's pretty big in here yeah it's, it's amazing i love it i feel so relaxed right now i can barely like talk all right fam we'll see you tomorrow morning i do have to say that was a very comfortable sleep like was, did you sleep well i slept so well it was so cozy and like hearing the sounds of nature just outside of our tent put me to sleep and it, whenever I got up in the middle of the night put me back to sleep it was super cozy super warm and really enjoyable like I don't want to leave I'm we're coming back we've yeah, already yeah. decided so we're gonna come back here for yeah. sure we're leaving firelight campground and we're gonna do some hikes in the area because there are a ton of hikes there's a lot of waterfalls there are a lot of beautiful areas to see and today's our first sunny day uh, thankfully before we left we got a sunny day <laughs> Is it real? Could this be come to this area they go to Watkins Glen if they want nature and hiking because it's beautiful it's been rated as like one of the most beautiful places in the US definitely in New York but that makes it super touristy and there's so many other waterfalls and hikes that you can do in this area and those places aren't as touristy because everyone's going to Watkins Glen so I prefer being more in nature and surrounded by the sound of nature than other humans <laughs> Hey Travel Tribe, for additional trip inspiration, visit Enterprise's Pursuits page. I'll put a link in the description below. As a Canadian, you have to know how to make a s'more. It's like, you can't be Canadian unless you know. It's just, that's just the way it goes. This is what we do, like, every summer. We go camping, 
Sit by the fire. And we make s'mores. <laughs>